All right, you've seen him on CNN and True TV's In Session, and today he's here with us to help you. Our guest today is Joey Jackson, and he's a criminal defense lawyer with the New York firm of Kohler & Isaacs, where he serves as senior trial counsel. As you may already know, at JDCOT, we help you find and succeed in fulfilling careers using a law degree by exploring career paths both in and out of law. Today we're looking at the path of being a criminal defense lawyer, so let's meet Joey and get started. Joey, welcome to JDCOT. Pleasure and a privilege to be with you. Definitely. I'm really glad you're here. Really glad you're here. There's lots to talk about. We're going to want to hear all about what you do on cable news networks like CNN, but really we want to dig in deep into learning about being a criminal defense lawyer. So, Joey, let's start with the basics first. Tell us about your practice and an overview of what you do as a criminal defense lawyer. Absolutely. Well, I'm in a firm, and we're a full-service firm. We represent people in a variety of ways, whether they're closing on a house, whether they're getting a divorce, whether they have issues uh, in labor and employment and discrimination. Um, and then, of course, we have an extensive criminal practice, and that's what I do. And as a, the senior trial counsel here, what, what I handle are matters uh, you know, of, of some import, meaning if someone gets involved in something significant, whether it be a case involving vehicular manslaughter, whether it be you know, reckless endangerment, shootings with the police, whether it be enterprise corruption, no matter what the criminal matter is, um, you know, oftentimes I'm called in to address it. And what that entails is uh, going to court, representing the client's interest. I like to say the criminal defense lawyers represent the rights of the falsely accused. Um, not that that's always the case, but uh, there are some people who are truly innocent. But by and large, you go to court. And in going to court, you know, you argue with the prosecution. And what you're doing is you're preserving your client's rights. And you're arguing and attempting to hold the state to its burden of proof, which they're establishing or attempting to establish that your client is guilty of a variety of things. So whether it's enterprise corruption or, you know, where people engage in conspiracies, whether it's a rape case, whether it's, uh, you know, again, murder, attempted murder, vehicular manslaughter, you know, driving while intoxicated. Those are matters that we resolve. And uh, that oftentimes not only going to court, but a lot of motion practice, meaning sometimes you want to write on papers to get yourself a certain hearing to suppress evidence and that type of thing. But uh, it's a lot of fun stuff. You know, people's lives are in the balance and you want to do what you can do for them which is the best you can at all times. That's something I'm really, that sounds great. I'm really curious to learn about that, the fact that people's lives are in the balance. So this is a big thing. Um, we've talked to several trial lawyers here. Um, very often it's money that's at stake. You're dealing with people's freedoms being at stake. Um, explain the pressure that's on your shoulders when you're going to trial and representing somebody. Well, you know, I love this. I love this job. Um, you know, I would do it if I weren't paid to do it. So I don't feel pressure. And that's true. I mean, I like to go to court. I, you know, I live for the, the thrill of it. Um, you know, there are a lot of clients who are involved in some pretty significant things. And I would never put a client's life or liberty at stake, uh, you know, um, without attempting in all means to resolve something with the district attorney. And what does that mean? It means if I can cut a deal that's favorable to my client and preserves his life and his freedom, I'll do it. But sometimes you're left with no choice. And when you're left with no choice, you have to fight. So you're given the discovery by the state, which are all the police reports, all the records, all the transcripts, all the information, whatever they have. And you have to put together a case. And so you're defending a client's rights. And so, you know, the stakes are very high. And oftentimes, you know, tempers flare in court because you're doing the best you can. But, you know, I think it, it's just something I'm passionate about. I enjoy it. And, uh, you know, as a result of that, I don't get too stressed out about it. I get stressed when I'm not in court. So <laughs> here we go. That's great. All right. If you're on YouTube, please give us the thumbs up if this was helpful. And if you want to see the full interview with Joey, come visit us at JDCOT.com where Joey's going to tell us all about his TV work and he's going to tell us lots more about being a criminal defense lawyer. Like what's a typical day? Who makes the right fit for this path? How to break in and how to succeed. If you're already at the site, you could just scroll down to the full video. Make sure you join the membership so you get access to all the helpful video content on the site. Thanks again for watching everybody. I'm Mark Luber and I'll see you soon.